Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, Cadet 50118 here playing uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, HD Collection. Today I think I'm going to go for a Metal Gear Solid 2. Metal Gear Solid is a, a stealth adventure game, and it's uh, actually pretty pretty good. Um, the first one is, I want to say, the best one. Um, that's, uh, I think it's just called Metal Gear Solid. Um, I literally could play that for hours. Um, the other, the, the ones I have on the collection. Um, Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 3 are not as good as the first one, but still pretty enjoyable. U.S. Constitution right there. This is, that character is Metal Gear Solid. Or, they normally call him Snake. Revolver Ocelot, he was introduced in the first game. Uh, a Metal Gear is a um, is a mobile unit that's able to launch a nuclear weapon. Or I should say, it's a mobile robot that's capable of launching a nuclear weapon. That guy's name is Raiden, the guy with the blonde hair. He, um, he gets introduced uh, a little bit later on in this game. Uh, he's... Um, I, I don't want to spoil anything. I'll try it on hard just for the fun of it. I like the radar on, so I'm going to leave it on even during the, um... I want the game not to be over if I'm discovered. So I probably will be discovered quite often since I put it on hard. I'm going to try and get through it as fast as I can. 
um, which probably won't be very fast, but I'll just try and get as far Alex as I can. Lever, two years ago, we had classified intelligence that a new type of Metal Gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. George Washington Bridge. Hiro Kojima did a lot for this game and the Metal Gear franchise. It's sad that um, Hiro Kojima and the company um, have separated. Hopefully they can get back together and continue making these, these games. He's wearing like a stealth suit or a camouflage um, suit that will bend light around the uh, wearer. Kind of like the invisibility cloak in Harry Potter. Someone will find out sooner or later. 
She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All boss lots do, I guess. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-metal gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new metal gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method. We don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing field is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, we'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry. I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of Philanthropy now, an anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. Sorry, I had to skip it. Um, it's kind of taking too long. Russians, Russians showed up and they uh, started taking over the uh, ship. Snake. All we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it 
it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency is 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting to... Are they alerted someone? Remember the controls from uh, that suit. Yeah, I'm not doing so good. I died. That is, it's annoying. Camera angle is a little bit odd. Um, that's why you use the um, the map here to kind of see what's going on, what direction people are looking.
I think they're gonna kill me again. Gotta run. No. His best defense is a cardboard box. But I don't remember where it is. a little bit. Don't, don't remember how to use a bandage. Tell me to use the bandage. Um, rations are the best way to do it. Try to crouch down or sit in the call position. Are you believing your life will recover a bit by that? Oh, okay. Well, that's not good. I gotta get inside the ship. I'm gonna try going in that door first down here. Awesome, I gotta try a different door. I'm still really close to dying. I need like help of some sort. So I've got cigarettes, sensor, a camera, and medicine. But it sounds like this is cold medicine. There's a bandage. It'll stop blood loss from breathing. To use while I was in the window. And I've already used it. Oh, I died. I was in my menu, the enemy walked up on me. So the game is pretty hard, and the hard difficulty. Oh goodness, so he saw me. So he's coming down to investigate. Gotta find that cardboard box. I don't remember if I tried this door, so I'm going to try again. Took some fall damage. Oh, cool, it worked. 
So it says Deck A Crew Quarters Port. I forget how do you open these? Cool. Ammo from my gun, that's good. No. I guess I put him to sleep, that's cool. I forget how to get the third first person view on the gun. I think there's a way you can do it, I just don't remember. What? Oh great, I, I need to use the cold medicine. Oh no. I guess I already used it. It's down here. A stun grenade, that's good. Oh, there it is. I found the first person view. There's the laser. Line up the shot, right? Headshot, nice. And this one. No. He's breaking up his friend. No. There's so many reinforcements. <laughs> it's one thing with this game is you can like pick up a person you've knocked out and drop them. You normally get like another item. It's kind of like a um, I don't know. No, not a glitch, but I don't know. If you're just aware of it, it, it helps a little bit. I need one more shot. Oh, right. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I missed. I'll just run for it. I don't have time to wait. So this is Deck B Crew Quarters Starboard. I just snuck by him. Someone's around the corner. Come 
come on. That was blocked. It's in here. So this is um, Deck Egg Crew Lounge. I'm back where I started. I need to try and be going up. I already went that way. Maybe it's on the other side. Over here. There's a camera in this hallway. So what I can do is, um, I don't have it yet. I can hug the wall and make it past it. That's really what I needed. I'm just hiding in that locker right, right, right now. Hopefully it works. Just walked right past me. I guess he wasn't looking right at me either. So this is Deck D crew quarters. So there's a lot of things. Wait, what? Someone shot at me. Oh my goodness, there's so many people here. I gotta get out of here. I'm running. I'm gonna try and get down to that um, locker again. It's my only hope. I don't know why the radar is not working. I thought I selected for it to be working during um during these moments. Okay, that guy walks past. I come out. It's over this way. Oh. Shoot. It's like right there. Okay, he's moving. Not again. I'm gonna die. I died. I'm gonna have to call it there. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.